Hello everybody and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. My name is Kev. Um, so yeah, this is a game, this is kind of a grand strategy type game. Um, if you play Civ 5, this is Civ 5 on like, beyond steroids. Um, I don't like it how they don't let me move. So you can play as any nation, you can even play as a, uh, here let me hit political. Uh, sorry about that. Play as the Inca. You can play as the Chimu. You can play as the, the Native American tribes. Um, this is patch 1.4, so if you haven't updated it yet, uh, I'm not sure if I suggest it because there is a lot wrong with it. Um, it has made it very easy to blob, uh, but you can very well, you know, you can do a lot of stuff and everything, and I don't really like to conquer the world. Uh, I do it on every once in a while, generally as Castile, or I'll like play as Albania or form Italy or something like that. Uh, but generally, you don't want to. You just kind of make your own goals and everything. If you Seriously, if you play Civ, this is Civ on steroids. Um, I'm going to try and form the Irish nation. Now, my last game that I played, which is, I played as Langster, and all of these have difficulty of that. Um, I'm going to try Langster again, only because I like the color. Um, so yeah, let's get started, and I'll explain more into it. Uh, I've played over 300 hours of Europa Universalis 3. I haven't done a whole lot of four. I've done like 70, which to normal people seems like a lot, but it's not. You, so you start the game paused. Uh, you can adjust speeds and everything. For sake of video and gameplay, I'm going to boost the speed up quite a bit. But generally, when I'm playing like off and not recording, I'll keep it down to a two or a three. Just so I can keep track of what's going on, especially if I'm playing, I like to play as Scotland, and just to keep a track of all of what England, the bitch that it is, uh, what they're doing. Okay, so my first goal is definitely to uh, ally with Scotland. So we're going to send a diplomat over there. I only have two. I want to keep one just in case I have to go to war, or if something crazy happens, sort of thing. So we're going to... Am I gaining prestige yearly? No. Then that's not going to work. So they give you three missions. Generally speaking, they're always going to give you improve our prestige. That's just kind of basic. Um, then they'll usually give you one or two, uh, like, country-specific. Uh, so, like this one, it's Save the Irish People in Meath because, you know, those damn Brits uh, are over there. Or the damn English, I guess. Uh, there's London, the capital. So, it, I mean, it won't take me a while. The nice thing about this game is that you can't just march and break a country and then just take it. It's more realistic. If you want to get the country, you have to slowly get it. You can't just sit there and take it all, which is nice, and it helps make it say it's not so hard. So back to this. Save the Irish people in Meath, and then you form an alliance with this guy. Um, Just for, what do I get? 10 prestige and 25 diplomatic power. Okay. Um, that's always going to be a mission. I think I am going to try to ally myself with these guys. Will you give me an alliance? Because I can always break it later. Huh. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Probably should have checked that before I click the mission. Um, so they probably won't give me a give me a uh, an alliance. I'm blanking. It's it's. I've had a long day. Um, discovery spread. Okay. Uh, I can hire a free general. Do that. Well, that sucks. Did that cost me anything? It did. Shit. Because the guy that I had the last <laughs> the last game gave me a bunch. Um, so let's put him there. Uh, General armies with generals have less chance to shatter, so it's a lot better. So there's that. Um, I guess I can hit on pause and see what happens. 
Now these guys should all rivalry rival me here in just a sec. These two did. Wow, Tyrone didn't. All right, and an alliance offer from Scotland. All right, moving up in the world. Pretty good. Um, sweet. So now I'm allied with Scot allied with Scotland. So if uh, England goes to war with me, I'll have Scotland there. So then it'll be essentially a two front war, which is good. Um, we're gonna boost the speed up just a little bit more. Now, did Tyrone? Tyrone has okay. So everybody's everybody's rivaled me. So Scotland is leading. All right, because last game I tried to. Uh, you can try to get Scotland to ally with you right away, um, because of the fact that you're far. Yeah, quote unquote far. You're not that far away, but you're far away from them. And then on top of that, you're one province minor, and you're absolutely just pathetic. I mean, world stage, you're pathetic. In this little group of nations, you're actually you're. I mean, you're equal with all the other islands. Irish nations. Wow, I cannot talk tonight. Um, sorry, guys. And uh, you're pretty on par. But the problem is, is that you've got this giant red blob. So let's pause. Um, so yeah, Scotland and Norway don't like each other because they have these islands. Uh, if you ever play as Scotland, are you freaking kidding me again? Okay, I also need to stop clicking on them so I can read them to you. So this is exactly what happened in the last game. Um, I cannot go to war until 16, 1465 now. Uh, England has warned me to not go to war. If I go to war, I will essentially, damn it, uh, I will be invaded. There's, there's no hope. So the only way that I can do that is, damn. Okay. Um... Well, I guess keep playing. Let's see. Got that. I can't go to war with you now because they've warned me. God damn it, England. Why did you do that? Are you claiming anything? No. Do you have a claim? Do you have a claim? Do I have a claim? Does anybody have a claim? No? All right. That's cool. And you're now hostile to me. Okay. And you're getting your butt kicked, which is nice. Huh. Alrighty. Does, was Castile smart enough? Yep. Good job, Castile. Damn it. Okay. So... I guess, yeah, I just got enough to invest in Cardinal. Uh, proving relations, there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything, so I'm going to drop him out. Yeah, I'm going to leave him and come back home. Um, damn it. Okay, I'm going to go in and make these guys rivals, so for a sec. There we go. And then you're the thingy. Okay. So, we're all enemies of enemies. Sweet. Okay. Um, my next goal will be to probably see if I can ally with France. Can I royal marriage with France? Let's improve relations with France. All right. Because France is going to be the next big player. What I basically want to do is ally with anybody who's enemies with England. Uh, just because it'll give me, sorry, the mic's being weird, uh, it'll give me more power against them, because then if they go to war against me, or if I go to war against them, I can draw f potential France and Scotland against them, 
and hopefully it'll make it all better. All right, hold on. Damn it. <sighs> Well, there's no way you're going to inherit me because I'm too far. So I'm going to lose 25 legitimacy. Um, if you this gets too low and this gets too low, your prestige and legitimacy, um, any royal marriages that you have, if you have a succession issue, um, they can claim their th claim your throne, which gets nasty, especially if you're plain. Then people are worrying over your country and you have no control, and you're kind of like, all right, well this is cool. Um, this is where Netherlands are, Denmark, you know, all the normal stuff. Hmm. So yeah, interesting little thing about, ooh, whoa, holy crap, he's actually, okay, well he's good administrative wise. Eh. Wish he could have been better military, but, you know, I guess I can't have everything, right? Do I have any trade going on at all? And why do I have two fleets? Give me one. There's no reason to have two. Where is my trade going to? I go to London. <laughs> I see London. I see France. I see dot dot underpants. I'm so weird. All right. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm is right. I, I literally have no idea what to do right now, because I can't go to war <laughs> against them at all. Um. I'm going to get plus 200 against them, because of the fact that I've rivaled all of them. That's funny. Who are their rivals? Oh, Tyrone has a claim. Yep, it's all three of those. Who connect? Oh, you shit. Alright, well, I guess I can do a defensive war. I can just see if defensive wars will work out. Although I am allied with Scotland, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. Sorry, guys, I had to take a drink of water. Um. Shit. Why did you have to do that to me, England? God bless it. Wait, what? They're... Huh. Ballsy move. Provence is, uh... kicking butt right now. Who's attacking? Bourbonnais? Bourbon, eh? Bourbon. Yeah, go for it. You're kicking England's butt, so I don't really care. Um, I guess what I could do is... Alright, he's doing that. Let's do a covert action. Let's fabricate a claim on Munster. At least then I'll have claims. So when all of this ends, then I can actually do something. Yeah, so this is actually going to be a really boring episode. Start everything off, because I won't be able to do anything. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Although they are kicking some serious butt, which is actually kind of nice. anything against them, because I know darn well, just because I'm a human player, the second I declare war on Munster, I am screwed. Royally. Alright, hold on. Use 1.4, or use that. No matter what I gain, prestige. Um, right now, money is more important than me. I've got plenty of manpower. Alright, there's that. How did they get rebels? Oh, Scottish peasants. They probably got a peasant. Revolt. 
of some sort. England, you are getting your butt handed to you, which is great. Please, send more troops. Well, this is good. The problem is, is that Provence won't take it because it's too far away. And it's a massive English core, so they won't do shit about it. Hurry up. Make a claim. How long? Okay. Almost done. I think it said something like 375 days. 1348. Yeah, but you've got a bigger army than I do. Well then, we're just going to change that. How many? I don't have any knights. We're going to expand the military a little bit. We're going to also drop down my fleet maintenance a lot all over, because there's no reason for it. All right. Let's keep going. Surrender. Alright, so Provence has that. England's going to try their best to get that back. I would think. I would hope. Hmm. Alright, so I get that done. I get my military up and running. I don't know... Does he have a leader? He has no leader. Alright, sweet. That's awesome. That's actually really good. No, go away. Merge. I have fire and maneuver. Do I have enough? No leader. Let's see if I can possibly... I'll dismiss him. Let's see if I can... Oh, good. Good, good, good. Alright. I have no idea how the hell to say his name. Alright. We are massively over my force limit. Um, like, big time. So we're going to see if I can slow down time just a little bit. Not that much. Are we at 100% morale? 2.5, oh, close, damn, damn close enough. Alright, we're going to pause it, and then hope to God that by doing this, so Scotland's going to join, which is good. Perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do, move there. All I need is a siege. And England is too busy, so they aren't caring right now, which is good. Alright, let's see. Rolls. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Well, they've only got they've got less people, so yes. Alright, sweet. Alright, and the siege will take place. That's good. Do 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 do. How's the siege doing? Do I have I still have just Munster. Okay, good. Just for the fun of it. Let's blockade their ass. I find it kind of funny that England said that they were going to go to war with me, but they can't because they're getting their butts handed to them. Alright, with this though, however, I am going to become much bigger of fish to fry for England because they like having all of these guys separate. Um, so, that'll be interesting to see how that all works. I'm going to have to take out a loan of some sort. Crap. No, I can't invest in a cardinal, can't I? There we go. There's that. Okay. We've got that going. Speed three, so nothing crazy is really going to happen. Are you still? Oh, okay. That, that's that's cool. All right. Thank you so much because I really needed that. 
Wow, everybody wants him. I'm going to have to take out a loan just to keep this going. Yeah, but if I have two tax provinces, maybe it'll help a little bit. This is going to be a very long and boring Let's Play. Um, just letting everybody know right off the bat, this is not going to be an exciting one. <sighs> Come on. Well, that's good. <laughs> Two. So I have a... Wow. I can take loans of two? Are you kidding me? Wow. That's really bad. Huh. Yep, that's really, really bad. Okay. So once we're done with that, we're going to drop... We're going to probably disband quite a bunch of troops. Because I have the time. Alright, so at 28% chance of them surrendering, which will be great. I can take the country. Um, let's just lose the admin power. I don't want 10% the full chance. Dang, how long are they going to... Alright. They're going to tell me, oh yeah, you need another loan because I suck at managing my economy. Um, See? Exactly. My interest keeps going up, which means my economy keeps sucking. Hopefully with this extra tax base and lowering my troop levels, along with uh, killing all my maintenance, we'll get it. And then on top of that, I get that ship. So, alright. So pause. I've got a 100% war score. I'm going to go up to peace. I want full annexation. And... Yep, send demand. Yes, alright. So we're going to rebase you there. We are going to go over here. Shit. Really? Alright, we're going to make you a core. Harsh treatment. Lower you down. Alright, cool. I'm making money again. Awesome. Right, I wasn't paused. Um. Well, cool. See, look at that. It's green! It's like Ireland. Only cooler, because it's green. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the, uh, there's Connacht, there's Ulster. France and all that. Scotland's still there. Does Scotland, what does Scotland have as a mission? Advance the frontier. So they're going to be trying to go for these guys. Potentially. They have a core on, like, everything they have? No, just those four. Alright. Fair enough. Well, because traditionally Scotland is here. And then it's big, fat England. It's kind of like a square. Then you've got Wales and Cornwall. See, Cornwall and Wales. 1443. Um. Yeah. Aggressive expansion, border friction, blah, blah, blah. Move on. Okay, October 1451. So another year, and then I get my core on here, which will kill any revolt risk at all and improve tax rate, tax base, which will help a lot. Am I still over my force limit, or am I at it? Oh, I added one. Sweet. Cool. Well, that's nice. How, where am I with tax?
tech wise I may actually want two three am I a three two I should be actually I'm pretty sure I am yeah I want to keep military wise tech wise um up with England so that way at least then my army when and if we go to war well, when not if uh, when we go to war then I'm at least the same because what I'll end up doing is I will probably end up having enough forces to just stomp on all of these provinces and then just move like a two or three man army over there and then I'll deal with it from there. Is my legitimacy not moving? Oh it is. It's a little bit. I still only have one diplomatic relation. Am I? Can I form an alliance with you? Negative? Huh. Well, that sucks. There's like nobody I can form an alliance with. Shit. And I don't really want to put them as my rivals because then they're going to be pissy with me. What mission do you have? Vassalize Scotland. Mine is still forming an alliance with Connacht. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to take the hit. So if you cancel your own mission, you uh, can't get another one for five years. Which takes a hit. Um, it'll mean you're... That's one of the main ways you gain prestige, is to uh, do that. To get, you know do missions and do them well. Um, I'm going to actually boost my stability up a little bit. How do I manage that? We're making the core. Good. We're almost done with that. Hmm. Alright. Probably the next province that I'll want to go after is Connacht, just because it's close and it's right next to me. I can't make a claim on Ulster until I have a uh, province right next to it. Um, the only problem is, is that once I take Connacht, then... Uh, it's going to be, England is going to be powerful. And they aren't in the Hundred Years War anymore. They peaced out. Crap. Okay, do I still have that warning on me? Free my country. Yes, I have been warned. Okay. So I cannot do anything until 1465. You're so close. You can do it. I believe in you. Give me more money. Sweet. Alright, so there's that. Tax income just went up dramatically. We're going to create a unit. We're going to take you. We're going to expand this unit, so I am with, well within my force limit. I am gaining one gold, or one ducat. Yeah. Oh! So wait, you're warning me to go to war with anybody, so I can't go to war with anybody, but you're going to guarantee my independence. England, you are a sad, strange little country. Wow. Alright. So, uh, yeah, that's, I'm gonna put a cut in here right now. Um, Thanks for watching, and hopefully I can see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.